leftover women are becoming desperate as men go their own way. So this is a very serious thing right now. We have been hearing more and more about the leftover woman crisis. It's something that is happening in Western society at all levels. It started in China and then it expanded to the United States, Canada, Australia, and now many predominantly white English speaking countries are facing this absolute crisis where you have a large number of women who are in their 30s, 40s, and they are not married, they are single, they have extremely high standards, and the men in these societies are refusing to even speak to them, get into relationships with them. And these women are now putting significant burdens on their families and societies as a whole. This is a major problem that we've never seen before because women were not designed to live outside of the family unit. They were not designed to live without husbands. And as a result of this, it's creating a massive economic burden for society and it's taking a mental toll as well on these women. Many of these women don't know how to be wives, don't know how to be mothers, and are making ludicrous demands like they want you know, $800,000 to for a man to marry them. Like, and this is a woman, these are women living in like China. But the problem is not isolated solely to China. It's here in the United States as well and various other countries where there are women who are also making similar demands. Fast forward, and now we're seeing the next stage of this, I did not, I, it, it's, a, it's a bit surprising, but then at the same time, no one should be absolutely surprised. So now a lot of these leftover women are searching for men in other countries. Yeah. So I was, I'm not going to play the video, but I, I will link you guys to the video. There's a channel called Asian Love Mates, and it's, this video is titled Stunning Chinese Girl, Girls seek true love outside Asia. So I want you guys to look very carefully. You're like, oh, she's not bad looking. There's a lot of simps who are like, we'll take the girl, we'll take her. Like if they don't want her, we'll take her. They don't know a real woman. Yeah, let's, I mean, how old are these women? All right, I want you to look very, very careful at, at a lot of these women because a lot of these women are much older. A lot of these women are thir like this one right here, 30, how old is she? 36 years old, Shenzhen in China. She's 36, okay? These are, all right? They're taking these pictures, guys. Do not trust these pictures. A lot of these pictures are heavily Photoshopped. Check, how about this one right here, okay? How old is this woman? Mindy, 40 years old, okay? Again, these pictures are heavily, heavily Photoshopped. Never trust anything that you see. All right. Never trust anything that you see from coming out of there because they they fake everything. Fit company known right? for. Here's an and then we're gonna jump. Let's go to another one. Let's go to another one of these. All right. Jump ahead. Uh, there we go. Here's another one. For paying, forty eight years old guys. This is how she looks at forty eight years old. These pictures are very guys. A lot of these pictures are faked. They may not even some of these women may not even be the women in the photos. And if and 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 if they are, the per guys, this is what she looks like at 48. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of Gen Xers who look amazing for their age and millennials, but I'm gonna make this very, very clear. What they're doing here is they are faking it. Okay, 48 years old. All most of these women are so much older, and yet they're trying to make them look like spring chickens, okay. This one is 28 years old. In, in China, 28 is a leftover woman. Okay? Look at this. And look at how they're dressed. Look at the way that they're dressed. Like, this is this is literal desperation. Here's another one. 36 years old. These are all, these are, these are all leftover women. Okay? Wendy, 31 years old. Uh, guys, this is, this, this is, this, this is a major breakdown. Okay? Here's another. Men. 48 years old, Hong Kong. It's getting, they are getting so desperate out there right now. And of course, you're going to have these idiots, beautiful China dolls, very interesting. Lol said, don't even trust the messages because a lot of these people, they will fake the comment. Like they will actually fake the comments. They fake everything. They fake absolutely everything. All right. So you have to be so careful. That's why I've warned you guys to like stay away from these dating platforms. A lot of them, you like, 
go like if you want to go to the Philip if you want want to meet a woman in the Philippines, do not meet her on a dating platform. Stay the hell away from them. Selena, 36 years old. All right. She's from Zen, Zenzu, China. Okay. Okay. Queena. Queena, 34 years old. Guys, this is total BS. Total and utter, totally and utter BS. Tiffany, 28 years old. All right. They are tr they are running, they are literally running this scheme and scam on men. And then if you look, guys, if you look at the actual, like here's a picture from like one of the events, none of the women at this table look like the women in those pictures. Do you see this? Look at the picture. Look at the faces of these women. None of these women look anything like the women in those photos. So 100% faked, completely faked. Like they are faking the whole damn thing. Look at, look at this. Look at the Cebu tour. Guys, they are totally ripping us off. This is actually a, I don't know if this is, this might be a Filipina, but they are fake. They are completely faking it. See that? Look at this. This, oh, she's all, she's, guys, these, these are not, these are not even their real photos. Are they heavily Photoshopped photos? Heavily Photoshopped photos. All right. These leftover ladies are going ballistic. They are trying to like find men in other countries now. So they can demand, you know, lives of luxury and comfort and enter into their so-called soft girl era. All right. After feminism didn't work out for them, like they, you know, they're going to keep the feminism, but, you know, they're going to keep the feminism and everything that they got for them. But they don't want to, except for the consequences. OK, like this is how they think they're going to make out of this situation. They are going to be able, they're going to avoid the consequences of choosing to be saying that I'm independent and I, I'm this and I'm that and all the horrible things that have happened as a result of the choices and decisions that they've made. You know, if you look at men, men have been ostracized from society. Men have been pushed out of society. And now they want men to come and rescue them, but they don't, they don't just want any man. They want the 666 guy. He has to be at least six feet tall, make above six figures a year and have a six pack. It's an utter joke. It's a complete and utter joke. And then, of course, all the while, you know, that's the guy they say they want, but they don't actually love that guy. They will never love that guy. The men that they actually love are these guys, all right? Little Panchito. They love Little Pancho. They love Little Pancho. This is the man that they love. This is the man that they want. This is the man who makes their hearts beat. Pancho and Sancho, these two dudes right here, all right? While you're at work, these are the dudes that are laying in your bed, farting in your bed, peeing on your pillow, all right? Because they have bladder leaks now, spilling tequila everywhere. These are the dudes that they actually love. They don't love you. They don't love you. They just need you. Do not simply go where you are needed. All right, go where you are celebrated and go where you are go where you are appreciated because just just because they need you does not actually mean that they want you. By and so, as soon as they don't need you anymore, they will get rid of you and it's that you're not going to like it. All right, you will not enjoy it. By the way, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, you want even more of this content, consider guys, consider checking out my newsletter. It's something a little bit different. I get to share my personal thoughts and ideas with you guys. It's really chill. It's completely free. You can go, you can find a link to it in the description of the video. Go and subscribe to my newsletter. And it comes out every week. It's a once a week newsletter. So I'm not going to bombard you with stuff, you know. And again, this is really chill. You can go check it out and, you know, see what you think of it. But yeah, we also have another community for you guys called the Angry Guy Community. You can check it out via angrygalaxy.com. We're over on Locals now. And there's a lot of great bonus content over there. You can talk on the platform without having to worry about being, you know, censored. It's really lit. So go and check out the locals community, angrygalaxy.com. There's a link to it, in, to, to it in the description of the video. I mean, guys, women chose this for themselves. They said that we don't need no man. We don't want you. Go away. And what did men do? Men listened and they went. Men left. And now women are facing the consequences of the decisions that they made as men are going their own way. You know, they are leaving leftover women behind and these women are now going into desperation mode because these men are choosing to walk away 
These men are like, we're not going to jump into relationships with these individuals who, you know, who basically prioritized, uh, who prioritized, you know, their careers and, and say, oh, I have a master's degree. A man doesn't care about a woman's master's degree. All right. The only people, when it comes to relationships and dating, the only person that cares about status is a woman. There are a lot of men who would, who would, who are most men, in fact, all right, would, would, will choose the girl, the cute girl working at McDonald's over Taylor Swift. A lot of, in fact, a lot of guys, her being Taylor Swift will be an off putting thing for them. They'll, they'll choose the cute girl working at McDonald's who's still, Fit, feminine, and friendly. Women don't seem to understand because these these women are so far in their masculine that they don't understand the concept of femininity, of what men actually want. They don't care. Women don't care what men want in Western society, okay? Because they don't even know what it actually means to carry yourself as an adult woman anymore, what that entails. Because they spend they've spent their lives living as masculines with all of that masculine energy, so they don't even understand what you know. How does a lady carry herself? You know, how does an adult woman behave? What does a man actually want? They don't care, okay? Because they have masculine energy, and they don't understand that men the, the men do not like masculine energy. The only people that rock with that are simps. The average man, the typical man, cannot stand mass that masculine energy around them. You know, it's off-putting. And a lot of guys end up walking away because they just can't tolerate it. No one wants that. No one wants that. And a lot of women were warned, you know, do not do this. And then you have all a lot of, all, all of these women who are crying, like, I had to go to school and get that medical degree. I had to get that law degree. I had to survive, all right? I, I had to do those things. All right, bro, now you have to be alone. Now you have to be alone and take and face the consequences for this. And you're telling young girls like they can, they should go out and do the same things that you did and they can have it all while you have literally nothing, all right? You have some cats and a lot of student loan debt, bro. Like you you're not pay, you're not able to pay that off. Stop playing around. You're looking for a millionaire to come and rescue you. A lot of these women with MDs, they'll never be able to pay that debt back. Don't let them fool you. A lot of these women with MDs, they will never be able to pay those degrees off. All right. They're looking for a 666 guy to come and rescue them. They're out here like, I need a hero. All right. And it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Leftover women are becoming desperate as men go their own way. What do you guys think regarding this? Let me know your thoughts. We'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away. And cheers.